Hey guys, it's Boomer here with Why So Golem, and today we're gonna do the recap for War Number Twenty Four. And boy, oh boy, did we have a challenge! Um, uh, I guess it is uh, totally perfect for being Friday the Thirteenth for those of you guys that are superstitious. Uh, we had, I would say, hands down, the toughest war we have seen in this clan. Tougher than the one we lost on a tie. Uh, really, I mean, tougher than anything I've, I've been since I've been here. Uh, it's just unbelievable how, how this came down to the very, very last minute. So, 57 to 56, um, I do have to say these guys had us in the ropes for the last hour or so of the war. Uh, we were down a couple points. Uh, it didn't look like we were gonna make it, and mostly, uh, you know, they they had a couple th nine uh, town hall nine attacks that just absolutely could have wrecked our bases. Um, props to Slossy for holding, being the only town hall eight that held uh, without being three starred. I mean, absolutely amazing defenses, including a defense against their town hall ten. Um, and props to everybody else that contributed in the, in the cleanup. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys missed attacks, some of you guys had mess ups. Uh, I do have to, to say, you know, the war effort was a, uh, a group effort and it was commendable for everybody. Everybody did what they could. Everybody, uh, you know, we were pretty much outmatched in the Town Hall 8 area across the board. Um, most of their bases were a little more upgraded than ours. Um, they all had decent troops. I don't. I wouldn't say that the enemy had absolutely inferior troops. So, uh, and, and they were extremely good. Um, go wipe attackers and, and drag flitters. So, props to them for giving us such a difficult war. Uh, it came down to the last last minute. Uh, their number one missed on Slossy and Jay picked up the last two stars. It was fifty. It was fifty six. Um, to uh, 55 so all we needed was just for him to pick up those couple stars and it looked like number one was a negative third star on Slossy. It had we tied we probably would have lost a percentage so definitely definitely a great effort by um you know by everyone so we're gonna go ahead and jump in into our recap of three attacks for three stars and here we go guys uh, we will sure enough have a base analysis uh, video right after this coming up. Um, all right, so let's go to the first attack I want to highlight for you guys. Where is it? I'm sorry, so many attacks here, guys. Uh, Yorio's attacks, I'm going to call it Yo-Yo, on number uh, 11, a cleanup attack. Um, level 6 air defenses, very, very upgraded. Um uses uh hogs to try and trigger some of the bombs unfortunately they don't uh and waste four hogs here uh i was watching this live replay and it wasn't looking that promising but i do have to say props to him he's been working a lot on his hog rates and, and he goes, goes ahead and pulls it off uh, i'm gonna speed through the kill here for the cc drops the poison a little early but look at those wizards just take down everything they're gonna do double duty by taking out that uh damage in that king King gets extracted by the by the hogs, but does a really nice job of dropping that heal spell right as they go into the core. So very very good uh, heal spell drop, uh, covering all of his hogs while they work through them. A little early perhaps on that uh, left side heal spell, um, put some of his hogs on that side uh, from the CC. So they're gonna take out the entire left. Then the ones in the center, nice third drop. I would say you know. Maybe would have liked to see it a little later, but it's good nonetheless. Um, it's losing a lot of hogs real fast, the skellies and, and the remaining traps and everything. Uh, but at this point, only the right side is the, the only part that's left. Uh, let's go ahead and speed through some of this. It starts to clean up early. Guys, that's huge for hog raids. You don't want to wait till the hogs are completely done with all the defenses. You don't want to lose your waste your time with that. Um, so look at this. I mean, he's he's got nothing really left in the corner. So that from the hut up there. Uh, the hogs are going to make their way all the way through the base. Uh, they're all, all the troops are really nice and spread out. So I don't, you know... We were watching this. He wasn't going to run out of time. I don't know how much time he had left, but definitely not uh, not too pressure for time. 
let's go ahead and spew it through. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great raid, guys. He actually had a one-star 96% uh, hog rate on number nine. Uh, very unlucky, mostly on time. Massive improvement on this one. Great job, Yo-Yo, uh, for this amazing raid. Uh, moving on to the next attack, we are going to see, in fact, I might be able to find this one here. Oblivion cleaning up number eight. Uh, this one was another one that, uh, I mean, there was a lot of cleanup needed in the spaces, guys. And um, Sarah attacked this one first with a with a sap quick flood and unfortunately got a 90% two star. So, so close with level six of defenses. So, uh, you know, it's really difficult to use, you know, your first attack and end up in three stars at Town Hall Lake. Because a lot of times you don't know where the traps are and anything. So, definitely a great attack by both guys. Fortunately, Sarah wasn't able to pick up that last star right there. So close. Here, uh, Oblivion, uh, Lure in the Clan Castle, doing a typical CC kill, getting much better as a clan doing these. Doesn't use the poison spell, by the way, which is amazing. That should help him a lot with the skellies when he drops that um, the poison spell at some point. Has a couple wizards left for cleanup. Not too many, but definitely a, um, at least some. Comes in with a two finger drop. They all gonna converge really nicely. Uh, perhaps, uh, I mean, the, the heal spells are good. Uh, they're gonna cover most of the area. Uh, and the hogs are a little bit erratic right now, kind of pathing all over the place. But it seems like it's gonna get the job done. I uh, have no idea where the bombs are in this base. Uh, it has not triggered a single one and it's working all the way to the base. Uh, not a single one in the core, just absolutely ridiculous the way this space was set up. Totally asking to be hog rated. And at this point, it's cleanup, guys. Cleanup time. Uh, guys, I, as you can see, most of the raids that we were going to be showing are going to be cleanup attacks like this, with, with like these with hogs. Alright, let's speed through this one. Sorry, guys. And yeah, so many hogs left. Uh, I don't know where the time was at, but definitely a great raid by Oblivion. Getting better and better with hogs. Congratulations. Um, next one, and the last one for this war recap is going to be... In fact, I'll find it over here. Sayers attack on number nine. And this one was another hog raid. Triggers two bombs right out of the gate uh we've seen this base before uh sarah's still getting used to hogs so this was a very good raid for her still level three hogs just upgrading to level four they're in the lab so that's going to be a huge help for the clan when people get their full hog set up that's just i mean it's really going to open the gates for a lot of um cleanup attacks for us if, if needed uh takes out the cc um without need of the poison spell very commendable every time you guys take out the cc uh without the poison you guys give yourself a better chance of taking out the skeletons uh comes in with a top from the top with a two finger drop as well and it's gonna drop the heal spell right in the middle perhaps a bit early uh but it's gonna do the job use the cc hogs from the left not sure why um both her and uh, Yo-Yo went on the left side with Hawks, unprotected from heal spells, but still, it worked out. Um, usually, you want to keep your pack of uh, level C, uh, level 5 CC Hawks in, together, um, but this is absolutely well done. Last heal spell goes down. Perhaps not the best spot to put it at because it's not healing a lot of Hawks, but it does the job, and it's just an absolute wipeout. This is the awesome part about hog raids, guys. Uh, it's not like a wipe, or it's not like drag floods that you're gonna come down to the wire most of the time. Uh, if anything, it's 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 really because you run out of time, uh, you know, because maybe you didn't drop the, the poison fast enough. But guys, I mean, I know that this war we faced a clan that that was a uh, um, that had really good uh, go wipe attackers but that's such an unpredictable strategy and whereas hogs it's so easy guys to three star it you have so much time left over i have no idea where she stood here at time but i guarantee you she probably still had at least another 30 seconds to go before the uh, timer expired uh and just great cleanup saves a couple wizards to to uh 
uh, to take out the rest of the things. Um, in just at this point, the town hall in the middle and pretty much a three star attack. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. You know, I, I love doing these recaps for you guys. All input is appreciated every time. Um, amazing war. I, I'm so proud of everybody. We had hiccups. We had, um, you know, a few problems here or there. Um, but it doesn't matter, folks. Uh, we, we got it done, and and the war machine keeps rolling on. Um, we are deaf, and we became clan level four as well, guys. So that's a huge prompt. So we get 20% more uh, loot storage in the CC, and we get um, six troops for donation limit, which is going to be a huge help for clan castle donations in the in the war. Um, and like I said, a lot of our members are starting to get their hogs upgraded. And, uh, you know, just keep hammering at those. Uh, Defense-wise, guys, don't forget about your walls. A lot of the attacks that these guys did on us was mostly because our walls weren't upgraded. Had they been uh, skull, skull walls, like the dark walls, I think we would have held a lot of attacks in. But uh, either way, very well done. Keep working at it. We have a lot of new members. So if you're a new member and you're just watching this, uh, thanks for joining us. We're glad you're here. We are a very organized clan, and, and we want everybody to succeed. We have a very different way of doing things in this clan. Uh, we don't. Uh, we, we strive for three stars. We, we want um, basically everybody to get the most they can out of the clan. Uh, whether you're watching every video or only a couple or watching other people's videos, we don't care. All we care is that you are communicating with us, that you are helping us improve as a as a. a as a clan uh also you know uh, we also have a different way of doing things in the fact that we right now the base of our clan is mostly town hall eights and i know a lot of you new guys and, and guys have been in the clan for a long time are nearing maxing their town hall eights um we definitely want you guys to be comfortable with hog rates we want you to be comfortable um you know with those mechanics because if you're not you're going to suffer in town hall nine big time uh town hall nine is not a um a town hall that is that easy to three star it takes a lot of time and effort so please guys if you have any questions of when to upgrade or if you're ready please ask us we're not here to try and restrict you we're not here to say no nah, don't you know don't don't go town hall line because you're going to become a liability we're mostly here so that you know we can help you um improve so uh, thank you guys. We will see you in the next updates video. And I will remember, Inco, I will get these notifications turned off next time. Thank you, folks. Have a good one.